Hey guys, Kalila here, or Kali, and welcome to my channel. I am a crochet designer and beginner knitter, and today I will be knitting. I am going to be staying up for 24 hours with my sisters knitting. Uh, every time, every time we learn something, I feel like we just do it for 24 hours. Like we were crocheting for 24 hours before. Oh, that was so long ago. And now we're going to knit for 24 hours. I actually finished my knit sweater. But it's good. But this time, you guys would have seen it, right? Yeah, okay, you guys already saw that on Friday. And today, I'm starting a new knit project, which will be socks. I have not knit socks before. As you guys know, I've only been knitting for a month. I haven't knit socks before, and I'm excited because I have been watching this tutorial over and over and over, reading through this pattern, just so I can prepare my mind for what I need to do, okay? Oh, let me show you what time it is. It is currently 2.15 a.m., yes. It is Wednesday, September 15th, and I always wake up at 2 a.m. every morning, so this isn't like, oh my gosh, it's so late, early, whatever. It's Wednesday, and I'm going to stay up until 2 a.m. tomorrow, which I find it, I find it's going to be easier to stay up from 2 to 2 because it's like you just woke up a little earlier than usual, and then you just go to bed like you know instead of 6 a.m to 6 a.m it's like oh my gosh like a whole day but it doesn't seem like that with 2 a.m anyway let me show you guys what i'll be using the needle that i will be using or the needles since there are two on here the needles i'll be using will be chow goo a lot of people told me that chow goo needles are good so i decided to get the smaller needles in the chow goo i didn't care to get interchangeable for it i was just like i just need fixed circulars so i got 2.25 I actually got like three different sizes I got 2.25 2.5 and 2.75 and nine inch circulars you can see how tiny this is let me take it out it's very tiny like look at this nine inch circulars that's how I'll be knitting my socks and I didn't I didn't want to do magic loop I will have to do magic loop for like <laughs> the toe of the sock but that's fine I don't want to do magic loop like the entire time so this is what I'll be using a 2.25 millimeter needles from Chow Goon and then I will be making my socks using these colors oh my gosh okay I'm excited because I got these in Vegas if you guys know I got it from Sin City yarn and th this is actually hand dyed by the by the people in the local shop i don't know if it'll focus where you guys can see the label no you don't want to focus okay anyway it's a sin city yarn hand dyed in las vegas wild aces and this is actually like a set that goes together this is hand dyed yarn obviously and they had it caked up already which is so cute so i didn't get to see it in hank form but i'm sure it was beautiful this is fingering weight yarn it is 80 20 so 80 percent superwash merino 20 percent nylon i would have preferred more nylon but it's just like five percent less than the 75 25 so i don't care and it's 440 yards so technically i don't need all three but i want to do like a different color type of thing so for the colors this is going to be the cuff of the sock and the toe of the sock this is going to be the heel of the sock and this will be the body of the sock so <laughs> It's going to be so freaking cute, in my opinion. I just know it's going to be cute. And I probably have enough to make four pairs of socks. So if I have enough, I will start a sock set for my sister Malika, Mr. Bobbin. But either way, that is the project that I'll be working on for 24 hours. I don't know if I'll be able to finish both socks. I don't know how it's going to go, but I will be knitting like every hour I will update you guys like I just showed you guys the time I will update you guys every single hour like the beginning of every single hour show you my progress and this will mainly be more of a time lapse type video so sit back relax and knit and crochet with me for 24 hours It is 
literally three thirteen right now and i've showed you nothing because i was trying to get through the first round of this and i just did i'm following this tutorial so usually they're like oh you don't have to like join in around you can just start knitting and so i did that and like it's still not joined so i don't understand and i don't know how to like join it now that i've already done one row so i'm going to redo it <laughs> it took me so long to do this but it's actually easier than i thought to knit on nine inch circulars so i'm liking that but now i have to recast on and unravel this first row that i did and the first row is always the hardest row gosh but it's okay because once i get through the first row i feel like i'm gonna fly through this but you know we'll see sit down on my chair because thunder took it thunder how does it feel to now sit in my chair great anyway hi it is now get my phone 6 21 a.m it has been four hours six i mean two three four five six yeah four hours since I started and it took me two hours to actually cast on. <laughs> so technically I have only been working on this for two hours. Oh, let me show you what I have so far. This is what I have so far with the cuff, if it'll focus. I always have focusing problems. Okay, this is what I have so far of the cuff. Oh my gosh, this color is just so freaking nice. This is this is what I'm using. Wow, this looks so much purpler, purpler, more purple on screen than it does in real life. It's literally like a a redder purple in real life, but this is what it looks like. I'm not even going to try to get that to focus again. And oh, I didn't even tell you guys what pattern I'm working on. Look at can you look? <laughs> the pattern that I'm using for this is the vanilla the vanilla sock pattern by crazy sock lady and it is just a plain stockinette pattern so this is going to be pretty easy it is not hard at all working on nine inch circulars i actually enjoy it and i would say i can feel it more in my arms but it's not painful nothing is painful it's just like i'm using different muscles or something but I'm sure once I continue making socks, 
my arm will get used to it. So I have to fix my stitch marker. There we go. But yeah, I am almost done with the ribbing. I have like eight more rows and then I'll be done with the ribbing and then I will start working on the leg of the sock. This is a cuff down sock. I'm not doing toe up. I'm starting from the cuff. That is really all that's going to be happening. Just plain stocking that after this rib. This is a one by one rib and then I will start on stocking that. But I will update I will update you guys like every four hours verbally. Like last time, I show you guys every every hour of the day just so that you guys know that I'm literally that I'm literally going through every single hour working on this. And but I don't want to talk every time because an hour of doing this is nothing. This is two hours of doing this. Another hour, you won't even be able to tell a difference. So in four hours, I will. <laughs> <laughs> in four hours, I will talk to you guys again. And hopefully I have way more, at least like half of the body done, but we'll see. I'm about to go on a morning walk with my sisters and my mom. We go on a walk every day, every morning. So hopefully it doesn't cut into too much of my time for this hour. But if it does, it's totally fine. I'm not just going to be... I'm not going to stop my usual schedule just to knit for 24 hours because I will always knit in every single hour of the 24 hours. So that's that's my goal. But I'm going to go on a walk and then I will be back to knit some more and finish up this ribbing so I can start the leg of the sock. It is 1036, well, 10.36 a.m. And I have been knitting for, well, I'll say since four o'clock, but I have been attempting this since two o'clock. So what's that, eight hours? And this is what I have <laughs> so far. Hold on, let me, I have some some ends in here. I have changed the color. So this is what I used for the cuff. And this is now the body. Please don't. This is now the body color. And by the way, this, this body color, I don't know if I already showed you guys, but this body color is a combination of this base and this base mixed with white and some other colors like a little bit of yellow maybe some darker colors like black but yeah now I'm on the leg part and with stockinette I'm just doing plain stockinette right now and it folds over all the time so it's so annoying to knit with but that's just how stockinette is well, let me try to unroll it so this is what it is looking like so far this is taking 
way longer than I thought, but I am using 2.25 millimeter needles. So like, what did I expect? I don't know, but it is so much fun. It's like therapeutic because it's such a small project, but since I'm just doing plain stockinette, it's just so fast and just, I am loving the way these colors are just molding together. Like, look at this. Oh, my sister's cat is behind. But look at this plain color to this variegated light. Oh my gosh, I am in love. And I'm going to continue knitting. I have so much more to go. Literally just started this and I have like mm, 50 plus more rows to go. So <laughs> I'm gonna be at this for probably another eight hours or so before I actually see some progress or maybe four hours because I'll check in again. Yes? Yes? Come, come here. He's the one that's crying so much. You're so sleepy. Yeah, I'm going to knit for like four more hours before I update you guys again. But I'll, I'll show time lapses and everything, of course, like I've been doing. And I should have enough in about four hours to show you guys like some more of the body. Maybe not all of it, but maybe a lot of it. So... Let me start doing that, and my camera's about to die, so I guess this is a good time to do the time lapse. <laughs> bed for like three hours now knitting so slowly oh gosh I am here I have around 40 more rows to go and gosh it's taken me like three hours just to do like 20 rows so I'm not even gonna be done with like the body part until what time is it right now Oh yeah, the, another update. It is one fifteen, so not that... Mm, the last update was pretty close. It was like not that long ago. And yeah, I have done a few rows. This took me like three hours just to do this section here. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. I've been updating you guys on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will you will have been seeing my progress. Okay, so two hours ago. Almost three. Yeah, so three hours took me to do this section, which is 20 rows. Hold on. My stitch is about to fall off. Okay, I put my needle stoppers on. But yeah, it's a, this is 20 rows, and I have 40 more rows to go, and this took me three hours. I continue at the rate that I'm going. I won't be done 
with this until what 6 p.m 7 p.m and that's just with the leg of the sock that's not including the heel flap and the gusset and the toe but if i get to if i get to the heel flap and gusset by 7 p.m 8 p.m that gives me enough time to finish the sock before the 24 hours are up so i think that's what i'm going to do but right now i'm gonna take a break i need to eat stretch out my hands and everything and then i'll come back and update you guys on what i've been doing <laughs> halfway done with the leg of the sock this is what it looks like look at this colorway first of all like looks so amazing i love how it blends so nicely with the cuff of the sock but yes i am halfway done with the sock i am actually oh wait let me show you what time it is it is 4.28. I actually just stopped knitting and like immediately started recording. I'm going to take a break until 5, rest my hands a little bit, my wrists, and I'm going to uh, edit because I need to edit this week's video. I'm just going to rest for a little bit. Not like sleep, but like rest <laughs> my wrists and my hands if you've ever knit socks you know that it is kind of taxing on the wrists and on the arms well at least for me using these nine inch circulars but i actually like it so much more than the magic loop method even though i will need to do the magic loop method for the toes i'm not looking forward to that but it's okay because it's just gonna be at the toe maybe i'll, I'll just watch the tutorial again at that point and see how she does it and hopefully it works out for me no it will work out for me because it has to it has no choice but to and if other people could do magic loop i can do magic loop so that's what i'm gonna do so many updates but in reality probably isn't a lot anyway this is my next talking check-in i haven't been following my four hour schedule thingy but it's okay it is currently 6 43 p.m and i 
am mm, two thirds of the way done. I have this much. Let me let me just put the camera down so that I can like really show you guys. This is how far I have gotten so far. It's it's I'm knitting it top down. So this is the top part of the sock, the cuff part, and this is the leg part. I have 20 more rows to go, which I would say maybe two and a half more hours of knitting to go if I like pick up my pace and everything. Ugh, I'm just in love with this colorway. Oh my gosh. But this is what I have so far. I don't know if you guys can see it getting bigger, but like I can and sometimes I can't because I'm just like, oh my gosh, it just looks the same. Nothing has changed, but I'm 20 rows in more. So obviously it got bigger, but I have 20 more rows before I start on the slip stitch heel and gusset. I think that's what it's called, the, the slip stitch heel. Anyway, the heel part, which I'm going to change colors at that point. And yeah, I have no clue what I'm gonna do at that point. So I'm gonna have to watch the tutorial so that I can understand. I have the pattern as well, but I like having video tutorials to help me along with stuff that I have not done before, like making a sock. So I'm going to continue knitting and hopefully the next update that I do, I will be at the heel part and showing you guys what I'll be doing, show you guys how long this has gotten, or I would have already started the heel. So that's what I'm gonna do. tired it's literally only hmm, i just did an update but it's only 9 23 p.m but i am so tired i've been up for 19 hours so usually around this time i'll be going to bed but i'm not because i still have five hours left to stay up which means five hours of more knitting. I have nine more rows left before I start the heel, before I change the color. My needle stopper literally just fell off my needle. And I'm like struggling to make it past these rows, bro. Like it's taking me longer and longer. I'm just like, oh God. I need sleep. I literally stayed up for 24 hours a couple days ago, accidentally. And I was like, oh crap, I gotta stay up for 24 hours again in like a couple days. So my body's like, my body just recovered from sleep deprivation two days ago. And now here I am doing it again for a video. But listen. This is a nice experience. I'm learning how to make a sock and... Ooh, wee! Oh my gosh. I'm going to crash, okay? But anyway, I have a bang. My sister bought us bangs. Energy drinks. I can smell that from all the way out in the hallway. Really? It's so weird. Oh, apparently it has a strong smell. But yeah, my sister got us bangs so we're drinking that bang, bang, we bangs. mainly get it because it tastes really good and it doesn't give us headaches it doesn't give us headaches yes like the monsters and the 
rock stars that's another one mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if i drink that but this one doesn't give us headaches so you know we drink it and hope a placebo effect goes into place and keeps us up because we don't believe that this works but you know if we pretend to believe it works then our brain will believe it works because it doesn't know that we're pretending so It is now midnight. It is 12.31 a.m. As you can see, it's now Thursday. And I'm currently watching Blind Spot with my sisters. Yeah, yeah, we're all in here doing our little 24 hour thing. And I have finished the body or the leg of the sock. I'm now on the heel. I'm doing a slip stitch heel. You guys can't even see that. Anyway, I'm doing a slip stitch heel. That is the beginning of it. The sock is getting pretty long. It's as long as my face now. And this is kind of the last part that I have to do before the toe. So I have to do the slip stitch heel and then I have to pick up stitches on the side for the gusset. I am I realize I'm staring at the sock and not at you guys. I have to pick up stitches on the side for the gusset or something like that. Heel t I have to do heel turn and then a gusset something i don't know i'm just like i just watched the tutorial twice it's an hour long i watched it twice in the same day and that's what i figured i have to do but slip stitch heel flap is pretty easy because i'm just doing slip stitches and knitting and then purling on the other side so very easy but i have less than two hours left of this 24 hour video i definitely will not be finishing this sock but hopefully i can finish the heel flap and that will be most of the sock done so that's what i'll be working on until this is over officially 
been 24 hours. It is 2.15 a.m. Thursday morning, September 16th. If you guys go back to the beginning of this video, you'll see that it was 2.15 Wednesday, yesterday, when I started this. And this is what I did. I am like 85% done. This is the heel part that I'm on. This took so much longer than I thought. I thought I would be done with like one sock and a half, but working with 2.25 millimeter needles, yeah, that's gonna take forever. But like, you can see that it's a sock. Like, I just need the rest of it. And I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. It's not gonna be in this video at all. You guys will probably see it like the beginning of next month when I do my, oh, my finished projects for the month because I do want to finish this by the end of the month. And I will have to put this aside to work on the crochet sweater that I'm designing. That's for next week's video. So I got to work on that. So this will be put aside. But I stayed up for 24 hours, guys. I showed you every single hour that I was working on this. And I took a break to eat. I used a bathroom jar. You know, all the normal stuff. Obviously, you can't knit really for 24 hours straight. But I did knit every single hour of 24 hours on this sock. And my hands are crying because they feel cramped. And my wrists feel fine though because I was stretching them and stuff But just my fingers since I'm like knitting like that my fingers are like, you know when you have to like crack them That's how it feels. But this was awesome This is my first time ever knitting socks first time using these tiny needles first time using fingering weight but yarn by itself and Yeah, this was exciting. Let me know if you guys hmm? Oh, sorry let me know if you guys have ever knit socks before or crocheted socks before because crochet socks are cute as well. I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm probably going to only sleep for like six hours. So I'll wake up at like 8 a.m. anyway, just so that I can reset my body and not like throw it off balance. And yeah, that's fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, let me know if you guys have crocheted or knitted socks before. And if you want the pattern to this sock, it is down below in the description box. It is so easy. It has a whole tutorial to help you out with it. If you don't want to use circulars, she has a whole video on this pattern as well, knitting with magic loop and DPNs. So go check that out. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.